Hello, welcome back student. We are going to start today's session, Digital Image Processing, Module 4, Lecture 8, EC 703A, Shongita Roy, Assistant Professor, Electronics and Communication Engineering Department. Today's topic is Segmentation of Digital Images with Watershed Algorithm. So far we have started different segmentation technique. One of the advanced technique we have studied that is Mar Hildreth edge detector, Laplacian of Gaussian, also Mexican hut also known as they are premier kind of edge detector because edge is an important property of any image structure is preserved by using edge detection. Now this is the mathematical modeling of Laplacian of Gaussian. This is the profile, different images we have already uh, studied. One, another kind of very important canny edge detector, it is better than that of the LOG or Mar Hildreth or Mexican hat because due to this qualities it is better. Low error rate, edge point should well localized, single edge point response are there and this is the mathematics, this is the algorithm. This is the different results. Then age linking and boundary detection. Sometimes there is age or non-age that is also a big question. So boundary detection is very important. So these are few slides. How it is operated then thresholding. So thresholding plays an important role detecting this age or boundary. Different methods we have studied single thresholding, multi-level, double thresholding, different methods like OS2's method, very good kind of thresholding method to detect this uh, required portion or uh, it gets clear idea about the edges and segmentation. Then uh, local thresholding, uh, global thresholding and different algorithms are there, OS2's methods and algorithms, outputs, these are the outputs and these are different outputs, good quality outputs, variable thresholding, partitioning and region growing. One of the important thing is region growing, why region growing is important? Like this example already we have studied in the previous lecture. This is a welding image. Now uh, during welding there are a lot of pores and holes are there that has to be identified carefully because that creates lot of problem in future maybe fatal accident may cause for that reason it is to detect where the holes and pores are because some bending should be there over that now it's histogram then it is initial seed image means this is the course image but this this is the what is the exact core or porous points are that is the seed image out of this this image has formed absolute value of this difference of these two that indicates exact point location. After that different methods is operated and finally this is the region growing output image. Now today's topic is segmentation using morphological watersheds. Thus far we have discussed segmentation based on three principal concepts, edge detection, thresholding and region growing. Each of these approaches was found to have advantages and disadvantages. The need for post-processing such as age linking and segmentation. In this section, we will discuss an approach based on morphological watershed. As will become evident in the following discussion, segmentation by watershed embodied many of the concepts of the other three approaches and as such often produces more stable segmentation results, including connected segmentation boundaries. This approach also provides a simple framework for incorporating knowledge based constraint in the segmentation process. The concept of watershed based is visualizing an image in three dimension. Topographic point to be linking in a region minimum point at which a drop of water if placed at the location of any of those points would fall with certainly to a single minimum and a C point at which water would be equal likely to fall to more than one such minimum. 
for a particular region minimum the set of points satisfying condition is called catchment or basin or watershed of that minimum the point satisfying condition c form crest lines on the topographic surface and return and termed divides line or watershed lines the principal objective of segmentation algorithm based on this concept is to find watershed line the basic idea is simple as the following analogous illustration will done the basic uh, the suppose that a hole is punched into a region minimum that the entire topography is flooded from below by letting water rise through the holes at a uniform rate when the rising water is distinct catchment basins is about to merge a dam is built to prevent the merging the flooding will eventually reach the stage when only the top of the dams are visible above the water line these dam boundaries correspond to divide the lines of the watersheds therefore they are the connected boundaries extracted by a watershed segmentation algorithm now this is the idea this is the basic image take original image or ground reference image now this is the topographic view and this is with the watershed flooding flooding by watershed algorithm and this is the final image so this is another one result continuation of the previous process this one after that the process is continuing result of the further flooding means this flooding process will be continuously carried over that after flooding beginning of the merging of the two water forms catchment basins so now the uh, merge will be done so after merging this thin line means this is the point which is the high intensity so it cannot be overcome so this is the final thin point so final this is the final watershed segmentation this is another example how it is formed so this is the original image now it is flooded then the thin dam line is formed and finally this is the outline now this is the algorithm level each minimum with a distinct level initialize a set s with the level nodes extract s a node x of minimum altitude f that is to say fx is equal to mean of y now y is in the set of s attribute the level of x to each non level node y adjacent to x and insert y in the no, in the set s repeat the process to until s is empty so the value will taken from s 1 2 3 in this way when it will be null then the process will stop this is a another example this is the original image then uh, its gradient image then watershed lines and uh, then final superimposed on the original one then the final image formed now we will uh, discuss about another more uh, the other important and uh, well known morphological operation the word morphology comes denotes a branch of biology that deals with the form and structure of animals and plants we use the same word here in the context of mathematical morphology as a tool for extracting image components that are useful in presenting and descripting region shapes such as boundaries skeletons and convex hull we are interested also in morphological techniques for post or pre processing such as morphological filtering thinning pruning morphology is a broad set of image processing operating that process images based on shapes morphological operation apply a uh, structuring element to an image input creating an output image of the same size one of the morphological operation is dilation dilation means maximization so uh, the assigned structure elements is used for probing and expanding the shape containing in the input image in specific it acts like local maximum filter dilation has the opposite effect of erosion we will talk just now after this slide so this is the original image after dilation see it will be maximized so 
the next line will be created over there and it is also extended obviously when two lines are extended they will merge so final image is like that same thing the opposite is for erosion straight opposite that of dilation the assigned structure elements is used for probing and reducing the shape that is to it is local minimum filter so if it is the original image then uh, this is the uh, by using the minimum filter local minimum filter it will be the mini this is the ins therefore thin line has thinned this is the final processed image so these are the references before thank you we will do some matlab because we are not doing matlab for a long time we will do little bit of uh, matlab because until and unless we doing uh, some uh, practical work the total concept will not be clear for giving this idea about this how it works we will do little bit of matlab because uh, for a long time we are not doing this matlab or practical work so it is a program clc close all clear all the normal process then a image coins.png it is a grayscale image has been taken then it has uh, output uh, imhist means uh, it will be shown then level is equal to gray thresh it is a inbuilt command of matlab it will i uh, then uh, in binarized uh, binarized image will form depending on the threshold level then uh, the image will be shown input image and output image we are not interested now for this the second part so comment i will put comment line so how it is see so it is the histogram of the original image so now see level is equal to what is the value of level 0.4941 therefore 50 percent by default it is a default value set inside matlab lot of things we can do but for the in beginners it we are not doing very hard high level uh, coding over there very simple one by default uh, level has uh, taken for this image and it is 0.4949 therefore what is the maximum intensity of, uh, of the image uh, that is almost 50 percent of that thresholding value is taken and it is quite evident from the figure where is the figure yes see the figure it is a total scale 0 to 255 out of this 0.49 therefore it is almost over there therefore this is the threshold point this has been taken and after that it has been imbinarized i into level by default it will be imbinarized will make this threshold so after that the how the output is this is the output this is the original image and this is the thresholded output or uh, segmented output or threshold image now we will do the next one uncommented so this is the multi thresh here it is threshold level is one here threshold level is multi thresh you can use here here it is written over there 1 therefore threshold value will be 1 you can change this I will show you and as we will uh, change you output will come differently so how it is coming check it so if I put 1 for the both case it is same output will come see for the both the picture same all the same output but if I change this value from 1 to 2 what happens see see this is the output this is the original without by default value and now see threshold has 2 as the number of threshold is increases the detail of the images is coming so that is the important part now I will change I to 2 to 3 what happens see 
let's see. Now the threshold level is 3 and the initial threshold is by 1, the output is like this. this. And if we change the threshold level 3, therefore 3 thresholds are there, so output is looking like this. So as the number of threshold increases, the output will look almost to the original one. So this is all about for today. So we are ending the session over there. Thank you. Now little bit will be about this segmentation MATLAB session. So in this session, this is the first program and this is the second section. This is a single level thresholding, this is the multi-level thresholding. So I will off this one, this portion. So CLC, close all, clear all, normal process, you know all. Now I is equal to inbreed coins.png, it is a gray level image and it will be shown its histogram by imhist then gray thresh therefore threshold level will be calculated it is by default it is single level thresholding so where the threshold level it will be automatically find it out now uh, depending on the image obviously now it will be binarized image with using the threshold and then it will be shown by imshow pair so take the output First, see this over there, it's shown that uh, threshold level is 0 0.4941. That indicates the maximum intensity is 0 0.4941. What is the value? That value will be threshold point. So see the imhis point. So if it is 0 to 255, therefore 125 or within 130 will be the thresholding point. Therefore 50%, so it will be almost 50% of the total scale. So and this is the output this is the histogram and this is the histogram of the original image and this is the output image so we are going the second uh, portion of the image that is the multi-level thresholding So first, this is the point, how many threshold we want to use, first take one, therefore as that of this one will be at the output, see, yes, this is by default single thresholding and this is multi threshold, but we have chosen threshold points are one, that is to single value threshold, so same, in the same output will come, same output. Now I am changing 1 to 2. How the output changes, see carefully. So obviously this is a single level thresholding and this is multi-level and multi-level is equal to 2. 2. So this is the output, original image, output, original image, output. So now I will take change 2 to 3. What will happen? see as the number of thresholding is increases so output is coming closer to the original image so this is all about this so we are going to close the session for today we will meet again soon